And I'm here with Chris Kale from Five Finger Death Punch. Good to see you there, dear. Good met, to see you. Met uh, unofficially on Twitter yesterday when you told me about the interview, and excited to see you in person. Absolutely. I was, <laughs> I've been looking forward all day, actually, to getting to meet you in person. Very cool. Very cool. Um, Likewise. Really excited to be here at Louder Than Life in Louisville. And, of course, this is practically home turf for you. It's, it's really close. I grew up about uh, an hour down the road in a place called Lexington. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Louisville was always great for me. Coming up as uh, a musician in Lexington, I would trade shows with bands from Louisville. They would come to Lexington, and we would go to Louisville. Uh, one of the bands I traded with back in the day was a band called Flaw. We traded a lot of shows with those guys. My own victim from uh, Louisville as well. So, yeah. yeah. It's good to be back amongst, uh, I got family out there, friends all over the place. So sure. it's been a crazy, crazy day for me. It's nice, but holding it down, doing well. <laughs> <laughs> so this is essentially like a coming home then for mm -hmm. you. Is it, is it feel different or strange when you come back to the Midwest? Not really. Um, pretty much when this happened, everyone had told me like out of anybody, we knew it was going to be you that did this because I never gave up on the dream and you know I was always the guy flying and writing music way back in the day so yeah it, it's it's good to be that guy that at the age of four knew what he wanted to do continue to do it and then finally hit it like 36 and everybody was proud of me carrying the flag for everybody here back in, t in Kentucky so yeah go, it's good Chris. yeah exactly yeah so so at four years old you knew what you wanted to four do. years old I saw uh, a show called three two one contact and kiss was on there and I saw Gene Simmons I didn't know what he was doing at the time but whatever it was that's what I wanted to do. That and was it. Yeah, yeah. And then I, I uh, messed around with music, been listening to music forever. Started off, I picked up a guitar, and I didn't really like it. I was like, I know I kind of want to do this, but it didn't feel right. As soon as I got a bass in my hand, I was like, oh, that's, that's the feel I was looking for. So, yeah, been chasing the dream ever since, and still chasing it now, it seems. That's fantastic. <laughs> I love it. Um, now I know as far as Five Finger Death Punch as a whole, you know, they've come a really long way since the, the self-produced album oh, yeah. in 2006, which did, does predate you a little bit. But, mm -hmm. um, you know, I got to see you guys last year. You were with uh, Shinedown and P.O.D. You, oh, came yeah. to, you came to my hometown, my turf. There we go. Um, and where's your, your turf? Evansville. Okay, gotcha. So for me, it's actually... Um, I think Jeremy's, Jeremy's from there as well. From, no. Yeah, he's, he's in our metro. His hometown there is in go. our metro. There we go. Yeah, we, we battle basketball all the time with the... Uh, Indiana Hoosiers and uh, Kentucky Wildcats. So, well, a great basketball story for you guys since you're from that area. Uh, there was one time that we were we were out on tour. It was college basketball season. Indiana was playing Kentucky, and I'm like I'm mouthy all the time. I'm that Kentucky fan in the mouth. Wait till you see the shirt I'm wearing here in Louisville tonight, actually. Um, but we were going back and forth. So he decided that he was going to watch on one bus. I was going to watch on another bus. It came down to like the last three seconds and Kentucky made a shot and I was like, yes, sweet. We win. We win. Woo. Good. And I was like, wait a minute. There's still like three seconds left. Of course, Indiana comes down, shoots a three pointer. Thank God Jeremy wasn't on that bus. Cause I would have destroyed everything in there. I was not happy. So <laughs> I remember slamming my hand on the bus. Damn it. Ah, ah. Calm down for a second. And then like maybe five minutes later, I hear the, the bus door open and Jeremy goes, are you okay in there now? <laughs> so he was, he was nice enough to give me a minute to calm down. Anybody in Kentucky knows that college basketball is, is life, and that one hurt. That one hurt. But we won the championship that year, so ha, ha, ha. That's right, Jeremy. Number one, baby. It's fantastic. <laughs> See? Uh, that's, just a, that's just a piece of the smack talk that we talk on the bus. It's ridiculous. It sounds like it's great, though. Now, mm -hmm. you guys tour quite a bit. Oh, yeah. And is that – that becomes – daily life mm -hmm. i mean so you guys kind of you come together and it's it's this brotherhood and um when you're doing that though do you do you crave things from home like do you do you miss certain things i think mo mostly when you're on the road you, you crave just being away from everybody <laughs> that's the thing you know you get out here and you give so much you give so much you're surrounded by people all the time so when you have that moment of solitude by yourself you're like oh okay but the weird thing is when you get home all you want to get back there and get amongst all the chaos again. It's it's ridiculous. You can never be satisfied. <laughs> Out on the road, want one thing. Home, want another thing. It's ridiculous. Sure. I'm um, <laughs> incredibly introverted. So mm -hmm. when I go and I do things like this or, or when I go out for broadcast and I'm around a lot of people for mm -hmm. an extended period of time, there's lots of smiling and handshaking and conversation. By the time I come home, I'm done. Completely I'm, spent. I'm like, yeah. I need three days underneath my blankets and yeah. hide from the world. See, I was always that guy. Like, even in the first grade, I remember distinctly, Miss Tuttle wrote, Chris is a born leader and, and is like, everyone likes him and all that stuff. I've always had this big personality. And, yeah, I'm, I'm not nervous around a microphone, people, anything. I don't care. Yeah, never had that stage fright thing. Hi, Miss Huddle. <laughs> 
Miss you, girl. Miss you, girl. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, a couple questions. They're random. Okay. Um, we have Friday the 13th coming up. Yes. About two weeks away. Mm -hmm. And I want to know some things that you consider unlucky. Unlucky. Oh, my gosh. I'm not really into, like, the whole unlucky thing. I think that, uh, that you make the opportunities happen. You know, there's never this luck. Like, even with Death Punch, for instance, um... I had been toiling away for years, you know, doing bands in Kentucky. I was in Nashville doing some bands out of Las Vegas. And people would call it a lucky break, but it was me taking life by the hand, dragging it through the door. I actually messaged Jason on Facebook, and that's how I got in contact with, uh, with Death Punch to get the audition. Literally cold called on Facebook. like, hey, I hear you're looking for a bass player. Look no further. I'm your guy. Clearly I was. Yep. I, I knew it already <laughs> and uh he, he got back to me i was like uh that's very confident but uh i like it and he asked me how my vocals were and stuff i did before death punch i was singing main vocals and playing bass so i was like vocals i could back up let's go so yeah went in knocked out the audition got yeah. it so i don't believe in luck um yeah it's all about that came from knocking, hard work and knocking, perseverance knocking down doors yeah exactly yeah yeah that's amazing <laughs> all right and one more thing sure. um Halloween, yes. about a month away. Mm -hmm. I want to know your favorite Halloween memory. My favorite Halloween memory. Probably my kiss. Uh, I, there's a place called Hills that was in Lexington on Nicholas Four Road. I remember going in there and having my little kiss Gene Simmons mask and, uh, you know, whatever the suit was. We didn't do the paint. I literally had the mask. and I was so happy to have that Gene Simmons tongue. If anybody sees me, I do that tongue in every picture now. So, sorry, Gene. I'm not able to copyright that. I'm doing it now, too. <laughs> that's beautiful well is there anything else you you want to tell us about anything exciting and new happening that we well, need to know about you know we are uh we, the new record is done it's we're working on different avenues to get that thing out now so fingers crossed we should have that out uh, here fairly soon continuing to tour uh those of you in europe we're actually coming over with in flames and of mice and men so we got a big tour going through russia europe and the uk november december uh, lots of VIP meet and greet packages, all that stuff. Go to Death Punch, fivefigurdeathpunch.com. Check that out. And, uh, yeah, we love you. There you go. Chris Kale, that's all. Thanks.